Hey you guys, so your audience is going growing slowly and you feel like no one likes you. We've all been there. It's okay. But over the past seven years or so, I've grown an online audience to a pretty decent size, not in the millions yet, but we're getting there. We're getting there, okay? And stuff across various flat platforms. And I'm here to spill the beans on what it took to grow from scratch. Um, a few of you guys actually follow me on Facebook as well, and you know I had to actually grow a brand new Facebook page. And that's awesome though, because it showed me just how much perseverance I had for the online space and reminded me that no matter what changes, I'm the variable that can always move the needle, basically, right? So, anywho, um, and that page itself has grown to over 2,400 friends so far, grew my business group as well. My old group had 3,000, and now my new group is now almost at 400. So, I'm excited. It's almost three months since the year, so I feel like that's pretty good growth. Yay me! Um, but today I want to celebrate you and help you grow your audience, okay? So let's go ahead and dive right into talking about what it takes to grow from scratch, alright? So, alright you guys, so number one is going to be engaging with your audience. Let's start with the basics. So understanding your niche, it's all about knowing your target audience and the value that you bring to them, okay? So whether it's teaching marketing strategies to agency owners or helping brand managers master TikTok ads, defining your niche is key. Now, number two, it's gonna be content strategy, right? So once you've nailed down your niche, it's time to brainstorm some content ideas. So take inspiration from popular blogs and from YouTube channels in your space and don't be afraid to replicate what's worked for others. I promise they will not mind, okay? Um, put your unique spin on it, of course, but go ahead and take the plunge. Don't be afraid to try something new and see if it works for you, okay? Number three, personal experience, you guys. Um, this is going to be related to, uh, you know, personal journey. I want you to reflect on your own personal journey, right? Um, so when I got started creating um, niche content for um, food trailer owners and things of that nature, I was specifically talking to them in the camera. I knew exactly the person I was talking to, what they did for a living, and I was popular in that space because I ate, slept, and breathed that space. But I was providing value insights uh, tailored to specific audience, right? And that is what worked for me in the beginning. But then as I continued growing and evolving, then I got into credit repair. So I started talking about credit repair. And then I realized that no matter what industry I was in, I was always consulting. I was always business consulting. I was always tying it right back into marketing and helping every single person that I could. So I highly implore you to talk about something that brings you joy because it will translate on screen. Okay. Next is going to be evolution of content, right? So discussing growth. Now, as my audience grew, so did their interests. So I pivoted to creating content on productivity, to leveraging my unique perspective as a food trailer connoisseur. Um, and like, you know, I was selling custom-made food trailers, things of that nature. So I just made it a point to grow with my audience and I didn't stress myself to staying in one particular bubble. And that kind of goes directly into our next one, which is consistency and patience, right? So consistency is key, but it does require patience and faith. So set achievable goals within your control and commit to a long 
long wait a little bit. Now I know that sounds a little depressing, but I want you to take a deep breath and hear me out, okay? Sometimes it's the long wait that has the best turnout and rewards. That doesn't mean you're not gonna have, um, uh, what is it there, milestones that you're gonna hit along the way that aren't gonna be amazing. I'm just saying that before you hit that million uh, view mark, you might end up waiting a little while, that's all right. So remember, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Um, and everything is gonna be okay, I totally promise, right? Uh, next, you want to think about systemizing your content creation so that it's not all willy-nilly and all over the place, right? So systemize your content creation process to maintain consistency. So think of your channel as a franchise, a prototype with clear, precise, um, processes for idea, a generation, writing, filming, editing, and publishing. Um, that way you're going to think of it as a real business and not like a hobby. And when you move like it's a business, it's going to do just like you want it to. It's going to grow, okay? If you treat it like a hobby, then it's going to remain stagnant and that's not what we want, okay? Um, the next thing I want to show you guys is delegation and growth. So I want for you to delegate tasks as your channel grows and as your audience grows. Build a team to handle different aspects of content creation from editing to repurposing for various social media platforms and etc because as you get bigger and bigger the last thing you need to be doing is all the little tedious tasks you can let go of the reins a little bit and grow and prosper it's gonna be okay i promise they're gonna make you proud your future team right so from humble beginnings you guys to building a content empire on uh, what is it, a pending content empire of the journey is been remarkable so far and I am so excited to hear about your journey. If you are just starting either a YouTube channel or just now building your audience on any other platform, please feel free to let me know in the comments. Comment down below which platform are you on the most. Is it Facebook, TikTok, Instagram? And let me know your journey so far. Are you a beginning? In the beginning stages, are you um, a veteran? Ha did, were you going hard, really, really um, hard before on your platform? And then you just went on a hiatus and took a break and now you're back better than ever. Let me know down in the comments and stuff there um, in the chat. And I cannot wait to read them, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really, really appreciate you. We just went over to how to grow your audience from scratch, from my seven years of experience, you guys. I am so happy that you're here and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. Bye guys.